Aloha, I'm Kristen Higgins with Pop Yachts, and this is the beautiful vessel Lurleen in Honolulu, Hawaii. She's a 2005 Viking 65 foot sport fish convertible with a very impressive custom Palm Beach tuna tower. She has one owner and has an incredibly low original hull and engine hours of just 1500. So I'd like to walk you around and show you all her wonderful features. Here we are in the master stateroom. It has a king bed with a very cool hydraulic lift storage underneath. The master has exceptional storage in both the dressers and the cedar lined closets. There's also a very nice skylight which lets in a lot of natural light and it can also be shade covered for nighttime. The Lurleen has a very desirable four stateroom, four ensuite bathroom layout with the premium decor upgrade. The main guest room has bunks, also with an ensuite, and it also has a very nice um, hanging locker for storage and a skylight. Um, as you can see, the ensuite bathroom is the same decor as the master and the VIP suites. Very nice with the teak and holly sole flooring, the electric flush toilet, the vanity, sink and mirror. So this is the VIP suite. It has the Island Queen and it also has a 20 inch flat screen Sony TV with built in DVD. It also has a stand up shower and electric flush head. It also has ample storage space below. On the flybridge, the two stid helm seats have shock absorbers which make for a really smooth and comfortable ride when you're out on the ocean. There are also six rocket launchers and two 35-foot rough aluminum outriggers. The Lurleen also has the Atlantic Marine Custom Electronics Package, which is fully enclosed and weather protected. There's also ample seating on the flybridge with plenty of storage beneath the seating. There are custom cushions for the flybridge seating as well, and these have mainly been in storage. They've rarely been used. They're in excellent condition. The molded consoles also conceal a refrigerator and a freezer here on the flybridge. The Lurleen has an 18 and a half foot beam, which makes the interior open plan living space very spacious. There are five air conditioners on board, which keep her very cool and comfortable, even in the hottest weather. Along with a very large leather settee, she has a 46 inch plasma televator TV. There's also a Bose stereo system, as well as audio visual equipment, which are suitable for business presentations. The full floor canvas has always been used to protect the carpet, so the carpeting is still in excellent condition. Two other very impressive features aboard the Lurleen are the full size washer and dryer, and the built-in Bissell vacuum system. Two 2,000 horsepower MTU V16 diesels. They have, um, at the time of videoing today, they have 1,507 hours, so very low hours. Um, they're serviced annually, and that is one of the best power packages um, on the market today. Um, there are two Onan generators on board, one is a 25 kilowatt hour and one is a 21, and their hours are approximately 2200. She also has a Seafire fire suppression system in the engine room, and that was recently tested, serviced, and cer certified in March 2020. So one of the cool things about the engine room is the all grip flooring, and also that there's access to the deck and also to the crew, crew quarters or second bunk guest room through their head. She's only had one owner. She was bought brand new from the Viking Company in New Jersey and they cruised her down to Florida. Then she was put on a ship. She came through the Panama Canal up the west coast of Central America and Mexico and then she was shipped over to Hawaii. 
So almost all of her original 1500 hull and engine hours are in Hawaiian waters. <clears throat> She's been to many of the outer islands fishing and she is currently cared for by a part-time caretaker and an on-call captain. So she's run regularly and her hull is cleaned twice a month. And her last haul out was June 2019. Well, when she was purchased, um, she was customized with $750,000 in upgrades and options. Her fuel burn is about 2.5 to 3 gallons per hour per engine at eight to 10 knots. <clears throat> and her maximum speed is between 30 and 40 knots. So she's truly set up for tournament um, sport fishing. And I have actually had the pleasure of cruising on her um, halfway to Molokai. And it is an amazing experience. Um, once you get on her, you don't really want to get off and no other boat can compare. She'll hold 2,000 gallons of fuel or 7,500 liters. So you'll have no problem fishing and cruising pretty much anywhere in the Hawaiian waters or anywhere in the world.